hello x raised to power 2 divided by 36 is equal to 6 divided by x find all values of x what i'm going to do here x squared divided by 36 is equal to 6 divided by x I'll cross multiply giving me x raised to power 2 times x is equal to 36 times 6 this is x raised to power 1 so x raised to power 2 times x raised to power 1 is equal to 36 is 6 raised to power 2 and then this is 6 raised to power 1 a raised to power m times a raised to power n by law of indices is a raised to power m plus n we can add these powers using this principle this will then give us x raised to power 2 plus 1 is 3 then we have 6 raised to power 2 plus 1 is 3 usually by law of indices given a raised to power m is equal to b raised to power m law of indices allows us to say since the powers are the same the basis must also be the same and we can conclude at this point that since this is 3 and this is 3 then x is equal to 6 however our solution will end here giving us only one value for x but if we proceed by transferring this to the left hand side giving us x raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 is equal to 0 we can obtain even more solutions from this problem x raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 by identity recall a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 is factorized as a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared therefore x raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 would give us x minus 6 x squared plus 6x then plus this is x squared plus 6x plus 6 squared and remember this is equal to 0 so we say equal to 0 let's study this up this will give us x minus 6 times x squared plus 6x plus 36 is equal to 0. From here we can say either x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 6x plus 36 is equal to 0. From the first one here, we get x is equal to 6, which was our initial solution. I'm going to call this x1. And then we can proceed to solve this quadratic equation to get the other two values. I'll compare this quadratic equation with the general quadratic equation. This will then imply that a which is the quotient of x squared is 1 b the quotient of x is 6 and the constant term is 36 the general quadratic formula to solve for x is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac then divided by Two times a
I will now go ahead and substitute these values into this equation. This will give me x is equal to minus b is 6 plus or minus the square root of, so we have 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 36 divided by 2 times 1. This will give us x is equal to the negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 4 times 36 divided by 2. Therefore, x becomes minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36. I'll factorize. Then I have 1 minus 4. Divided by 2. Giving me x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 times negative 3 divided by 2. And then have x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus, this will be square root of 36, I'll say 6, then square root of negative 3 divided by 2. Square root of negative 3 can also be written as square root of 3 times square root of minus 1 by such. So this will give us root 3 and then square root of minus 1 is i. Therefore, x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus 6 root 3i divided by 2, which I can separate to give me x is equal to minus 6 over 2 plus or minus 6 root 3i over 2. From here we see 2 here is 1, 2 here is negative 3, 2 here is 1, 2 here is 3. Therefore, x becomes minus 3 plus or minus 3 root 3i. So we have two solutions in one. I remember we already got x1. So this is going to be x2 is equal to minus 3 plus 3 root 3i and x3 is equal to minus 3 minus 3 root 3i and what we got for x1 earlier was x1 is equal to 6 so we have three different solutions one being real which is this one and these two being complex solutions. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and remember to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.